Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 2 of I Play Skyrim and um, yeah, we're not going to mess about, we're just going to get on with it. Uh, if you remember where we left it off, we just escaped Helgen uh, with Rayloff and uh, he suggested we uh, split up and meet in Riverwood. Right, here we are. Uh, actually, Rayloff is still here, is he waiting for me? Oh, okay. We'll go together then. He said split up, but yeah, I'll go with him. There's rumbling in you the know, background. That must be the dragon or and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. Mm. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's over. What's this? That's a fox. Oh. So, join the Stormcloaks or join the Imperials? Well, I think because the Imperials were going to murder me and the Stormcloaks um, wish to free Skyrim from the Empire that tried to murder me. And uh, this Ulfric seems to know what dragons are. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. Uh -huh. Never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that yeah, it looks quite ominous, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look very nice. Right, let's carry on. I trust this guy knows where he's going, so I'm just going to follow him. And what is it we've got here, right in front of us? Oh. These are the Guardian Stone. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. All right. Well, let's have a look at these three pillars. So the Thief Stone. If you activate it, it means that under the sun of a thief, you'll learn all stealth skills, twenty percent faster. So I assume that means obviously sneak, uh, lock picking, uh, and the like. Um, let's have a look at the other one. Mage Stone. So obviously all the magic skills you learn faster. This one, uh, the Warrior Stone. So, of course, one handed, two handed, uh, light and heavy armor. Or, so, I'll say heavy armor rather than light, because that come under sneak if it's light. Um, I think I always like to play Skyrim as a warrior. I don't really like to use magic unless I really have to, unless it's something that is advantageous at a particular time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one for now. Warrior. So. Those stars will guide you to honor and glory. Oh, I thank you very much. Let's carry on. There's a mine somewhere there. If you're new to Skyrim, you'll notice at the top there's a compass, and the arrow always shows where you need to go, so it has to be in the middle to let you know that you're on the right track. Remember, and as you get closer, it'll get bigger. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. All right. If you run into any Imperials, just let me do the talking. All right. Okay, I'll let you do the talking. I think while we're halfway there, I'm going to save. Like I usually do. So there's a sort of a black uh, sort of a building type. Oh my god! What? Teach you to start on me, Wolf. That came out of the blue. And I've leveled up. Excellent. Uh, take the pelts because I can sell those. It's so weird. Whenever you, uh, you know, you you take a pelt from an animal, it doesn't look any different, does it? And their legs are still going. Uh, that's weird. But yeah, like um, there's a creature called a skeever, which is like a massive rat thing. But the only thing you can harvest from that is um, its tail. The weird thing is, is not only is it out of all the whole creature, which they're quite large and rat looking things, you only harvest the tail, but they don't lose their tails when you take them. I don't think everybody really thought this through when they were making it, but there are bits in Skyrim which are kind of funny like that, they don't really make sense, but it's such a good game that you can forgive it when uh, it doesn't quite 
they love to oh what have we got here always harvest things that you see you know make sure that you can I'll let me sheath my weapon get my alchemy up looks like nobody here knows what happened yet come on okay Gerd is probably working at her lumber mill looks like a nice little village doesn't it <laughs> that reminds me of Pete's dragon. <laughs> I'm not going to start <laughs> singing the song though. But I would stay away from him if I were you. I was hoping to stay away from Sven. All right, well I'll stay away from Sven. Gerda. Brother, Mara's mercy, it's good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerda. Been captured. Gerda, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who's this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet, but a friend. I owe her my life, in fact. Oh, wow, that's if nice of you to say. Talk, I think I owe you my life, too. News from Helgen, reached Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Hod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. Okay, let's what follow this lady. Sven drunk on the job again? Hod, just come here. Raylon, what are you doing here? Ha, I'll be right down. So there's actually even more flowers around here while we're walking. I will pick some. As you do, just pick some flowers as you're about to have a private chat with someone. Right, is this really private? We're still within earshot of people. Uncle Raylon! Can I see your ads? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know Alfred Stormcall? Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay on top with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. Mm. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Ah, uh, bless now, him. Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. I can't remember when I last slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Mm-hmm. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. Darkwater Crossing. I went there ago, on a previous game. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. Mm. But then, out of nowhere, yeah. A dragon I suppose if the Empire's given the Imperials the power to do what they want, then they can do what they want, but are they abusing that power? And I was there. That's another reason why Mordor wanted the school folks. When I first played Skyrim, I actually went for the Imperials because I didn't really like uh, the um, Stormcloak way of doing things, but then when I looked into it further, it turned out the Stormcloaks were more justified in their war. Particularly because the Empire wants to outlaw the I worship of Talos. And just me personally, I think that people can worship whoever the hell they want. Or whatever the hell they want. It, it doesn't matter. And you should never say you can't do something. Any friend of Raylof's is a friend of mine. Okay. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. Thank you. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. Alright. Oh, she's, she's offering me some stuff for free. Oh, that's nice. Well, she's given me lots of food, but I don't really need it. Um, I do need a, a lot, another lockpick. Uh, that is a brilliant piece of apparatus to have. Give me extra health. So I will take that as well. I'll also take the ring so I can sell it. Um, thank you very much, there Gerda. There is something you could do for me. For all, all right. Of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Okay. We need to get word to Jarl Valgrof in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Fair enough. I'm glad to help anyway. I, I need to speak to the Jarl of Whiterun. 
This uh, town of Riverwood, and I'm presuming Helgen as well, falls under the jurisdiction of Whiterun. Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It will take more than a dragon to stop Alfred Stormcloak. Oh yes. I'll let them I told All right, let's talk to this guy. How do I get to Whiterun? Just head north. Can't miss it. It's the capital of Whiterun Hold. Jarl Balgrim still hasn't declared for one side or the other. So at least you won't run into mm -hmm. any Imperials along the way. Okay, so Balgrim is uh, neutral. Was the dragon on your side? What? Oh, hardly. I don't think even Ulfric could pull I think that's kind of a stupid of question spot. for the main character to well, ask because obviously there wasn't. When it did, eh? I wasn't looking forward to getting a shave from the Imperial headsman. Why were you being executed? Seriously? You don't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak himself. Alright. I think I'm actually going to go for that answer. I don't pay attention to current events. Oh, right. They said you were captured crossing the border. Still, I'm surprised you haven't heard of Ulfric. He's our leader. The leader of the Stormcloaks. Who are the Stormcloaks? Surely, even down in Cyrodiil, people have heard news of the war in Skyrim. The Nords are tired of spending our blood fighting the Empire's wars. And paying for the Empire's decadence with our taxes. Ulfric is our rightful High King. He's leading the fight to drive the Empire out of Skyrim, once and for all. How did you end up as a prisoner? I was assigned to Ulfric's guard. We were on our way to Darkwater Crossing south of Eastmarch. The Imperials were waiting for us. As pretty an ambush as I ever saw. We were outnumbered five to one at least. Ulfric ordered us to stop fighting. Didn't want us all to die for nothing, I guess. I thought they were taking us south to Cyrodiil. Parade us in front of the Emperor. But then we stopped in Helgen. And you know the rest. Hmm. Yes, I do, unfortunately. Mm. Right, I'm going to speak to this lady again, see if there's anything Good that she can tell me. Brother. She's already given me a surprise. I already know how to get to White Run. Do I need to know anything about the Arl, or am I asking too many questions at this uh, this point? I think it's best that I just wing it and uh, go where Sorry I need to go. Let's you. speak to this guy. I so know how you saw a dragon, did you? Yes. Tell me, what was it like? As big as a house? Use your imagination. Um, let's see. What should I say? Uh let's scare him. Well I'll be. That'd be a sight to see. Uh, not that I actually want to see one, understand. <laughs> I hope that dragon stays far away from here. Yeah, I I would assume so. This well. is a very small village. And I doubt very much it would have many defences, but as they said, they do need troops. So I think that is where we came in. There's the blacksmith. Uh, who's this house belong to? Or oh, Sven and Hilda. Um, she, this lady, that lady gave me a key to a house, didn't she? Uh, oh, the trader. Let's see if I can sell some stuff. I need to level up as well, don't I? I might as well do that while well, I'm here. One of us has to do something. What are they talking I about? I said no. No adventures. No theatrics. No thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> customer. Sorry you had to hear that. Okay. Well, actually, while I'm here, I'm going to level up, first of all. So, what's more important, I think, at this stage, I think health is really important. So, I'm going to add an extra 10 points to health. Uh, I'm more of a warrior type, so I'm going to go for... I'm going to be using my one uh, two-handed weapon more. Um, actually... I will be using two-handed, but I think I want to have an advantage in archery before anything. Okay, so let's speak to this guy and see if we can get some. Oh, no, wrong side. What? The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Yes, thank you for that. Did something uh, yeah, happen? We, we did have a bit of a, a break. Here. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. Oh, really? An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. 
Okay. This is one of many quests that you'll get where you offer to help people. Because people in Skyrim are just fundamentally lazy, they don't do anything themselves, so they delegate your main character to do their dirty work. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh really? Well I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I by the eight fine, but only to the edge of town. Well, I don't think I need her to guide me. I think I'll be able to rely on my compass. The the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Uh, yeah, and what have you Trinkets, got for sale? Odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, well, let's see what he's got. I don't have that much money. I've got 147, so... I think it's best that I sell what I can first, and then, uh... uh see, I'm not going to be using any of these, probably. I've never used them in any pre previous games, so I know that I'm probably not going to use those. I can just sell one of these bows, I don't need two. I've got uh, quite a lot of these, I can sell that ring and I can sell the wolf pelts. So I've got 250 gold, so what is it he's got that I can probably use? Um, let's see... No, 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 keep going, keep going. I think I've got enough um, Lock picks for now. Um, I don't think I've already got a minor health necklace. Uh, do I need any more potions? Um, again, I think I've got enough. Okay, more of these. I don't think I need any more. All right then. Let's just go. the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here though. The mountain just over the building. Yes, I can see Bleak Falls Barrow. Right, so the Golden Claw I need to do as a task and I've got Stormcloaks as a miscellaneous. So I don't have many to do but currently my active quest is to talk to the Isle of Whiterun so I do need to um, go there but let's see. Alva and Sigrid's house. Um, I need to find out where are see these other guys living that's an inn well, let's go into the inn see if I can get anything there maybe oh while I'm here before I forget equip that so now I've got 130 health Every inn in Skyrim looks exactly the same. They're just carbon copies of the same inn. You'll notice that. What are you, Embry? What do you want? All right, Rudigan. Sven. thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from me. I saw a dragon in Helgen. Truly. So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl at Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, so, yeah, we did hear about a conversation earlier about uh, Sven. Somebody told me to stay away from Sven, so it was between him and Findel. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with him when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. He sounds persistent. Why not do something about it? Or. Yes, two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. Is that sarcasm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. All right. Uh, still, you have a point. Camilla letting Feindal visit her isn't a good thing for me. Give me a mug of Here, beer. let me give you a particularly right venomous letter. Say it's from Feindal. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. Okay, well, you... Are trying to get me to be complicit in a uh, deceptive task. I'm not comfortable with that. But then I'm pretty sure that Finder will do the same. I don't want to know about his playing or requests. So I'm gonna probably speak to Finder myself. But over here there's an alchemy lab. Let's see if we can make any potions with the ingredients we've got. No. 
there's some here. Ah. So, actually with the spider egg, it might be an idea to eat one. Oh, to see what it does. Yeah, and it damages stamina. So this guy's got to say. We got rooms and food. Can I use the alchemy lab? I already I have. <laughs> Ain't much else to tell. Heard any rumors? There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Ooh. Well, that's another task. So, that's any more? Time. Yeah, all right. Need a room? Talk. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Is it the shrine of yet? Any more Nobody rumors? Trust those mages way up north in their college. Gods only know what they do up there. Oh, well, that's not going to give We've me. We've got something of a love triangle here in Riverwood. Fandel and Sven, both vying for Camilla's affections. All right, looking here, for work. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Kill the bandit leader, Lotig. Located at Fulfine Keep. Uh, so where can I learn more about Looking magic? To blow yourself up. I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic, unless that blew up too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. Is it the college? Uh, do you have anything for drink sale? For the thirsty, food for the hungry. Oh, is it just food and drink? Oh, yeah. Some ingredients I could supposedly use on the alchemy lab, but I don't want to spend my money on that at the moment. Is there anything I can sell to him? I'll sell him these uh, spider eggs. I'm not going to need them at the moment. Um, Give me a mug of eggs. Word is, no. Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's no. only going to get no worse more tasks. Now. Well, while I'm here, there are several uh, miscellaneous quests, but I'm not going to do them just yet. I want to get on with the main quests. All right. And um, so I'm going to leave this in. And they said head north, didn't they? And that's where the cursor is. So I'm actually going to go north and I'm going to go to Whiterun. And while I'm out of the Riverwood, I'm going to save. Yep. <laughs> Jump. Okay, who's this? Imperials. Well, I'm dressed as one of them, so. And they have a prisoner. Imperial business. Be on your way. Okay. this there's a giant oh yes giants usually carry lots of no usually giants carry lots of gold you handle yourself well you could make for a decent shield system. Okay. What's a shield system? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. Well, that sounds that we right up my street. Problems if the coin is good enough. Mm-hmm. Can I join Not you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitening up in Gervasco. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your words. Okay, if you okay. go to him, all right and their companions as well I take it well I'm gonna go back to the road let's hop over quite do that as smoothly as I wanted to 
Uh, I'm going to do another save here. Because I'm quite far along at the moment. <laughs> See, their guards are not dressed uh, as storm cloaks or as Imperials. Brigands, I can handle with this talk of dragons. Very impartial Hold at the moment. Hold. So oh. clothes with the dragons about. Official business only. Okay. Um, what shall I say? I can't intimidate because that again, there's lots of guards in there. There's me. I don't want to be out of joint with the Yarl first of all. I don't have a lot of gold. I could say that, or I could say that I've got news about the dragon attack, which sounds the best thing to say. So I'll use that. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Okay. Yep. Increase my speech. Excellent. White run. Okay, so here we are in uh, usually sunny White Run. Oh, it's bloody awful at the moment. I think what I'll do is I'll leave this particular episode here. We've done Riverwood. Now we need to do a uh, White Run. So I'm going to leave it right here. And thank you very, very much for watching. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.